trade should be for everyone and trade should be inclusive. If people in Michigan are feeling excluded, uh, how do people in Africa feel? This is our opportunity to look behind the headlines and get into the heart of the issues at hand. Only two years ago, to the date almost, that the world adopted an agenda for the next 15 years to address some of the challenges of unfinished development questions. Only two years after, we seem to be in a very low mood and sort of forgetting that we gave ourselves 15 years to work collectively on that. And trade is one of the points that we have to, to work on. I, I hear a lot sometimes uh, delegations say, look, we're from a small country, we don't have an option. We need trade, we need markets to do that. We have over 300 million young people who are without work. And that is set to double in the next 15 years. So these are extraordinary challenges which we all have to come to grips with because I, I think they are global challenges. Korea was at the rock bottom uh, list of uh, LDCs and is now the 11th uh, economy in the world. If we're not for the ability to export apparel and, and other labor intensive products, we would be talking about Malthusian crisis in Bangladesh. And instead what you have is a place which is still very poor, still has terrible working conditions by first world standards, but has in fact achieved substantial progress. It's moved well above the, the edge of subsistence thanks to globalization. We all have to live in the same world. If we were to go back to uh, a fragmented protectionist world which would be devastating for smaller countries, you know, that has spillover effects, that leads to political instability, it leads to a lot of bad things that will in the end come back to, to haunt even the, the countries that can weather that direct economic impact better. <music>